What's up, YouTube? I want to say hi to my two most special viewers, Cameron and Kaylee. I hope you enjoy this episode because it's for you. 2023 and season four. I think this will even go to 2024. I don't know. All I can tell you is that we've been sailing the boat and enjoying ourselves. Minimal amount of boat work this year, but that's okay. I want to enjoy my family. I want to enjoy the boat. And I also want to enjoy some boat drinks. Nothing better than being sun-kissed on the uh, water. I hope that you guys have really enjoyed these videos. And if there's something you want to see, I implore you to reach out and ask me. And I'm more than happy to record it for you. Boat work is my favorite. So if you have some need for a helping hand, by all means, just reach out. I'm here. But until then... I hope you guys uh, hit that like and subscribe button, and cheers to you in the water. All right, people, we are now at Artemis, and I'm using this to get her ready for paint, which will be taking place, oops, sorry for the shaking, tomorrow. Again, this is my fault, um, especially in this crotch. I did not sand well enough, and the ablative paint has now fallen. And we need to get that all off so I can put my non-ablative paint on. I'm just going to do some touch-ups. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So Jason's going to go ahead and film while I do this. And then, since we're talking paint, I'm going to paint my numbers on my hot field. Oh, yeah. What's up? All right, we're back at Artemis. I just want to do some touch up where the paint was super thick and I made a basic mistake. Um, back when I first did this, I had used non-ablative over ablative and that did not work out to my favor because the ablative is peeling now in certain spots. And no, this is not spinning. Turn you. There we go. The ablative is not is chipping. So we just chipped off all the the bad yesterday. Acetone. And now I'm covering it up. And that's that. So she is ready for the water. I'm gonna hit that spot a few times. I'm gonna take off my glasses. So I can see. Again, I'm using rust oleum. Make fun of me if you want. This stuff has been, well, it's proven itself. Every time I come out of the water, my boat is spotless, where everyone who's using all the interlux and stuff like that is filthy. Next year, maybe a soda blast. New barrier. That's a possibility. That is a possibility, my friend. This was a rookie mistake, though, guys. This was a very rookie mistake. Oop, that was a sloppy mistake, too. <laughs> I just want to sail it. I don't really care anything else other than that. These are my stands, so I can get them all schmutzed up. You guys remember the squares are from where the other marina launched me when they weren't supposed to. And I had to let them, don't step on my paint please. Good. Again, this, this was not the best paint for my prop last year. I still had some barnacles, in fact, that was the only spot. I think as it just chips off. And again, I'd like to actually sandblast this prop. There's been a lot of paint on here over the years. So if I could sandblast it and then recover it with a proper, like prop speed or 
the total boat makes a product for it. That looks pretty impressive. So what are you doing, bro? Well, I put on a really, yeah, it came right off. Really cheap, not cheap. Uh, I put on vinyl numbers on this boat, and it was a very temporary thing. And now we're cleaning the old numbers off, and we're gonna go ahead and paint them on. Uh, West Marine had a, a huge sale the other day. I don't know how huge it was, but I wound up getting the uh, the kit to do this. You paint them on, last forever. So that's what we're doing. Painting on some numbers today. And that is still got some glue on there. I think it's got to go up here now. That's what I'm going to do. Putting them up top. Mm. I'd rather them up here anyhow. Yeah. As long as they fit. buy these like 25 cent brushes I always recommend trimming them so they can actually work and they're not big old fatties that should be good all right so it comes with a Coors Light and some paint shake this paint up real good turn it now this is specific for vinyl and it's like a thicker paint. Jason just hit his head. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dab it on, dab it on. A little thicker. Should have waited for it to dry. No. Yeah. It's not dripping. The end looks like. This is what it is. I'm just gonna make it worse. Um, do you have white paint? You can always, uh... I could, it's not white, but... It is what it is. It just, it, just, it is. Oh, so nervous about that happening. Yeah, nervous. I mean, it's, it's, the kind of, it's kind of like, you know... These Seven type, is the worst. These types of stencils are just like, you know... Gotta let this dry. What we decided that tapping, this oh, doesn't really want to tap either. Might be the better bet. And I don't know about a second coat. <laughs> the other side doesn't look too good. I think tapping is going to be the solution here. I think ultimately a sponge is how you really want to do this. I think the paintbrush kind of like they, they push, fold under yeah, yeah. push out to the side that's why I cut them too
All right, people, I'm a feeling that the tap method is the method. Because if you look at the other side, it looks like trash. I mean, it looks good if you just stand real far, like it's a real, Monet, right? Like that. that. Said, Monet? Yeah. Let's see. There you go. <laughs> we'll see if we can fix that. But for right now, little scrapies. That's how it's gonna live. All right, people. You can't really see me, but I'm here. It definitely looks better. Tapping is the way to do it. Now. Tap, tap, tap. Thinking about giving this boat a name. Thinking about naming it Jenny. It's the most beautiful boat name I've ever seen. Just like in Forrest Gump. But where? Hmm. Hmm. I think I see a spot. How about right here? You want the cleaner? I clean it real quick and I'm gonna do J E N N Y. Right here. Should I do it? Yeah. You should name it Jenny, right? I'm gonna do both sides though. Aww. <laughs> then you gotta That's alright, because I'm doing it. You gotta reverse the letters. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go give this to the people. Y N N E J. Alright, here we go. Gen A. Oh, go run it back. Yeah? Yeah, go run it back. Just bring it back. Because they are painting. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's something will take that paint off. I don't think it'll be acetone. Also keep a Wilson soccer ball on the boat. Sure. Cover all your Tom Hanks movies. <laughs> Flawless. That look is perfect. Let's go do the other. That's it. Nice. That's our name. Good job. Is anybody able to tighten up that E bit, maybe? Just the just the tail. Yeah, there you go. I like how in the movie. Everything is uppercase except for the E. <laughs> you gotta love Forrest Gump. My boy. All right, well, that's a quick touch up here. Um, stoked I got that done. I will say if you are using that kit from West Marine, the dab method is a lot better than the stroke method. As we know now on one side that's ugly and the other side that's not. For me, I don't care. I just wanna enjoy it. If it's not perfect, it's not perfect. Obviously, I love my boat, it's not perfect but we enjoy it. Um, okay, so everything's touched up. My keel patch, as you can see, well, you can't, you can't see it. So the keel's done, everything's ready to go. Paint's gonna dry. We should be launching in the next couple days. Um, if this takes longer, just because of the mess that's behind me, I don't know if you wanna show them all these boats, but it's just, I'm landlocked right now. So until this starts to clear out, which I believe is next week, I might put the high field in now uh, get that motor we start getting that thing going which i gotta do three at three hours of uh break in so hopefully she's in the water soon um uh, other than that yeah she's ready i'm gonna go ahead and give it a wax in the next couple days um i just bought a buffer from harbor freight for 18 dollars. so that'll be getting done and then um yeah time to enjoy it now we got a whole bunch of cool trips planned this year that i hope you guys will still come and enjoy and watch even though it's not gonna be boat work 
but there'll be some fun stuff coming up. I'm not going to tell you where yet because they're surprises, but we got at least two decent two-week trips each, so one month on the boat. Um, as far as work goes here, again, I only have to buff. I'm going to go ahead and probably polish my fuel. I'm going to fix my fuel sender, which is giving me a false reading, but again, all simple stuff. Um, yeah, thanks for watching today, guys, and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers.